uh, I started really good. I had uh, good legs. Then I went a bit too hard on the climb and uh, on the rolling part on the top, I, uh, I think uh, I suffered the most. But then, uh, yeah, uh, towards the end was a nice parkour also, and uh, I really, I really enjoyed this today's time trial. And uh, to lose uh, against Rimko, uh, against world champion, the best uh, time trials in the world right now, I think uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, uh, good feeling, and uh, yeah, uh, I can be satisfied. You lose a little bit of time on, on Remco in the GC, but you also gain some time on Jonas Vingador, uh, about 25 seconds. What's the most important? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I would love to, to take a stage win today, but uh, yeah, like I said, uh, against Remco, yeah, it's uh, really tough. But uh, I gain time on uh, and on, on Primoz and on Jonas and the other guys, so uh, I can be really happy. And uh, yeah, I, I need to keep an eye on uh, Remco now. He's a bit closer, but uh, also on the on Jonas uh, and uh, Primoz. I think they can. Uh, can show uh, good legs in the final, in the next mountain stages. So yeah, it's still a long way to go. Nothing is decided. If you look at the, the GC, uh, the top four, in the six minutes, 13, nothing, nothing. Yeah, uh, I think in this to the France, uh, yeah, uh, the hard stages are coming to really towards the end, and uh, then uh, the bodies will be already tired, so we can see bigger gaps. So I, I, I would say that uh, right now everything. It's really close, but uh, yeah, uh, I would say for me it's better to be in the lead than uh, uh, be in the rear end. So yeah, for me it's good. Thank you.